What's up? Welcome back, everyone. In this episode, we're going to talk about sending email messages from a Rails app running on Heroku. We're continuing to build on our Form 4 tracker, which tells us about insider trades that are happening on the SEC. And so, yeah, let's jump into it and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to sendgrid.com. Um, you, there is technically an add-on, a send grid add-on for Heroku, but it does not work for me. Um, I've never been able to get it to work. So here I'm just going to go to start for free. See, I'm not a robot. Accept the terms. Say get started. When you first sign up, you have to create a sender identity. There's a whole bunch of steps that you have to go through to make sure that you're not a spammer who is just going to like, you know, send a bunch of nasty emails. So we're going to send, we're going to create a sender. Create. Okay, so I first got a confirm your email address email. So I'm gonna click on confirm email address. Wanna make sure that is confirmed. I got my single sender verification. So I'm gonna say verify single sender. Okay, sender verified. So now I can return to single sender verification and I see that it's verified. Okay, so now it says ready to send your first email campaign and follow the, the guidelines. So what I want to do is go into settings and API keys and I want to create an API key. And uh, this is going to be an API key that's used to actually send the email. So I'm going to say this is my like form fours um, email like Heroku or email sender. We're going to create and view this API key. And I'm going to go plop this into our settings, uh, Rails credentials colon edit, which allows me to update my credentials for this application. And I'm gonna add a new send grid key here. And I'm just gonna call it, I guess, API key. Okay, so from the send grid knowledge center, they have this section here where it tells you all the different settings that you need for the SMTP settings for your action mailer base. So we want to go to config environment and configure our action mailer. So we're going to do that now. So we'll open up the environment. And uh, here we're going to say action mailer base. We're just going to paste this in actually. Um, and so the username, I'm going to change this from the old school Ruby to new school. So it's going to be an API key. The password is going to be our send grid API key, which we just stored in Rails credentials. We're going to say rails.application.credentials dot dig send grid API key. That's the secret in, uh, API key. The domain that we're sending from is actually, let's see, form fours.herokuapp.com. So I'm gonna grab that. And I'm hoping that doesn't get us banned because it's different than our um, then our email address. Okay. So we're going to add that to our application and push it up to Heroku. So the difference is that when you use the, the Heroku add-on for SendGrid, it uses your username and password, which is an old style of authentication for working with the SendGrid, uh, with the SendGrid API. And I found that if I try just adding the add-on directly to SendGrid, I get auto banned. Um, so using the, using the Heroku add-on for SendGrid does not work, or it's not, it has not worked in my experience. So the only way that I've gotten email to work is by passing this API key. Um, and so you'll have to go to SendGrid, sign up for an account, do all the sender verification process, and then create an API key so that you can send email from the dashboard. Okay. The one other thing we need to do is go to our application mailer and update the default from address so that it doesn't come from um, at example.com. Instead, we want it to come from uh, our, the email address for our verified sender. So I'm gonna say this is our from address and the layout is the same. Um, and I think we also wanna go to production.rb for our environments and ensure that uh, mailer perform caching. Um, we want to actually like, perform deliveries. So I think in development rb perform deliveries, we actually have this here and that's set to true. Um, so, so configuring the action mailer settings directly from 
uh, production versus from our config.rb or our um, environment.rb is a little bit different, but we could we could have just as easily set all these same settings. So action mailer dot username password, and we might even need to come back and do that. But I think for now, um, this should work. All right, so now it's deployed to Heroku. We can open up the Heroku uh, Rails console. Heroku run Rails C, that'll fire up the Rails console, and then we can experiment with our form four and try to deliver it. And we might need to remember how this actually works. So form for notification, uh, right. So we're gonna say form for notification with form for deliver. And then we pass it, I think we pass it like, yeah, the current, the user that we want to send it to. So we're gonna say, we'll say form for notification dot with form for form for dot first dot deliver to user dot first. And this should send an email directly. It should send both an email and a push, a web push notification. So here we have this performing noticed um, email job that's going out, delivery methods email, um, and we expect that that's actually gonna work. So let's go check our email and see if we got anything. And it looks like we, and it looks like we actually did receive a notification. So we've got, uh, Nick was like the very first form four. So we received the email here on Gmail and that means that we are delivering successfully. So now notifications should be set up and running. Um, we can go to our dashboard here in SendGrid and we can we should be able to see, if we refresh the page, uh, it might be delayed a bit, but um, yeah, the, the like actual activity here is behind. Yep, so we were able to successfully receive this email address, so again, the steps were, we went to SendGrid and we signed up for a new account on SendGrid. We had to verify our sender, our sender's email address. Once we confirmed the sender's email address, which we used a custom domain for that. Um, in, in my case, I'm using my CJAV dev domain. Once we were able to confirm that sender, uh, we got, we created an API key. And once we had an API key, we were able to use that as our authentication mechanism to the SendGrid API to send uh, emails through through SendGrid. Um, the next thing that we did was we opened up uh, environment.rb, so config environment.rb, and we added this section to the action mailer base SMTP settings. Um, we also added our API key to our credentials file so that we could send um, emails using that API key. And this is the settings that you'll need when you're, when you're setting this up. Um, finally, we just deployed to production because our environment variables uh, and our credentials were set up, Heroku was able to deserialize and pass those along um, without issue. All right, that's how you send email using uh, Heroku and Rails and SendGrid in 2021. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.